the most important Muslim practices are found in the five pillars of Islam. This video will explore the last two pillars. Muslims fast from food and drink during daylight hours in the month of Ramadan. This is called Salm and is the fourth pillar of Islam. People spend the time they would have spent eating in prayer, reading the Quran, or spending time with other Muslims. At dusk, Muslims break their fast, usually with others. Not everyone is expected to fast. Young people, pregnant women, travellers and people who are ill are allowed to miss days of fast. Muslims believe that it was during the month of Ramadan that the Quran was revealed, so the month is known as the month of the Quran. Some Muslims will set themselves a challenge to memorise a portion of the Quran during the month or another personal target. Some Muslims will spend the last ten nights of the month at the mosque for prayer and Quran study. Muslims believe that this month helps them to focus on God. It reminds them of the teaching of the Quran as the whole book is recited during the month. It strengthens the community as they break fast together. It gives people sympathy for those who do not have enough to eat and teaches Muslims self-control, reminding them that they must put God before their own desires. The pilgrimage religious journey to Mecca that all Muslims who are healthy and wealthy enough are required to complete is called the Hajj. It is the fifth pillar of Islam. During one week each year, three million Muslims visit the Kaaba, the cube-shaped building in the middle of the Great Mosque in Mecca, and the focus of Muslim worship around the world. The Kaaba is believed to be based on a heavenly model. It is 13 meters high, and the corners are roughly aligned with the four points of the compass. In the eastern corner is a black stone, which traditionally was said to have fallen as a white stone from heaven, but turned black because of sin. The Kaaba is covered by a black cloth, a new one each year, covered in silk with embroidered gold Arabic text, including the Shahada, as you can see on the image on your screen. The Hajj involves a series of rituals. The main ones can be found in the Quran, and all instructions are in the Sunnah. Male Muslims wear iram, two sheets of white cloth wrapped around them. Women wear clothing all of a single colour, covering their whole body but their face. These clothes show the unity of all Muslims, despite their cultural or other differences. Some highlights of the Hajj are at the beginning of the pilgrimage, Muslims must walk around the Kaaba seven times anti-clockwise, reciting the pilgrim's prayer, raising their hand towards or touching the black stone as they pass it. They walk 13 miles to Arafat. On the ninth day of the month, pilgrims meet at Arafat to perform the ceremony of standing, called Wukuf. Pilgrims collect 49 stones at Muzdalifa, en route to Mina, where they throw their pebbles at three stone pillars, which represent evil. Muslims believe they are following in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, and following the example of Abraham, who showed true faith. The Hajj is believed to refresh and strengthen faith, and allows Muslims to be forgiven for their sins. The five pillars train Muslims to be better Muslims, and to resist temptation. The five pillars remind Muslims about the teachings of Islam. They unite Muslims and strengthen the community. They develop a Muslim's God consciousness, or consciousness of God, and remind them to put God first. Shahada, reciting the declaration of faith, reminds Muslims of the purpose of their life. Salah, prayer, reminds Muslims of the presence of God and that service to God is more important than everyday life. Zakat reminds Muslims of their duty to those in need, giving to charity. Psalm reminds Muslims of the teachings of the Quran and the importance of self-control. Hajj reminds Muslims of the true faith of Abraham, whose example they hope to follow in making sacrifices for God.